Dealership floor plan revenue expected to dive after years as a profit source for dealers. Ouch, if you're a dealer. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Stick around for the end because we have an absolutely amazing story involving our viewer, Lillian, to share with you today. Insignificant bad news for dealers, rising inventories and higher interest rates are behind the expected drop in floor plan revenue in 2023. Yep. You see, folks, for this to happen, the recent car market shifts had to be significant. Inventory growth has been surprisingly fast. It's just more evidence the market is shifting downward rapidly right now. Higher interest rates and car prices, combined with an influx of new vehicle inventory as the industry's supply shortages are easing, means floor planning revenue for dealerships will drop or even flip over to being a cost, bringing about the end of floor plan as an unlikely profit center for dealers. Floor plan as a profit source is a pattern seen where the Federal Reserve has aggressively raised its benchmark lending rate, increasing borrowing costs. Though floor plan interest, the loans taken out to finance vehicle inventory, historically has been a cost to dealerships. That changed for much of the 2010s as interest rates tumbled, but automakers continued subsidizing dealers' floor plan loans. The pattern returned when rates dropped sharply early in the coronavirus pandemic. But now it's all poised to end. Dealers are getting the rug pulled out from under them, and they are bracing themselves for the change. In Sunrise, Florida, Rita Case, CEO of Rick Case Automotive Group, told Automotive News that she's taking her group back to the basics. We're moving to a back-to-normal cost structure, Case said. The past years of extremely low interest rates, low inventory levels, and higher gross margins is coming to an end. Huge statement right there, folks, especially from a Florida dealer. Especially from a Florida dealer. Yeah. Rita Case expects inventory levels this year to be higher than in the previous 18 months, though not as high as they were in 2019. We've said that too. The old level of 3.3 million cars in inventory will not happen again. Rita aims to ensure her store managers do things such as enforcing traditional inventory control procedures. Greg Doherty, partner at accounting firm Crow in Tampa, Florida, dealers said, dealers also should put renewed scrutiny on their sales process in vehicle ordering to make sure the cars they're getting make sense. Explaining that they didn't have to do as much to manage inventory in recent years, he continued, Dealers have had an extraordinarily great run for the last couple of years, so they are sitting on an extensive amount of cash. Remember that, folks. Remember that. Many dealers, even in the last 12 months with the Fed raising interest rates, have been able to manage that through used vehicle lines. They've been able to just go buy their used vehicles and not have their floor plan line be utilized. As interest rates moved higher and inventory levels improved to a more normalized level, despite being well below inventory levels in the past, floor plan interest costs will continue to increase. Automotive News reports that net floor plan interest for AutoNation, Lithium Motors, Group 1 Automotive, Sonic Automotive, Penske Automotive Group, and Asbury Automotive totaled $90 million in 2019, but turned positive in 2021 to $323 million for the group as the automaker credits offset expenses. Experts estimated the group took in a collective $300 million in floor plan in 2022, but expects the profit to be halved to about $150 million in 2023. Those are huge chunks of money, That's folks. That's a lot of money. Going forward, increasing interest rates and higher inventory levels will likely push the benefit lower. In recent years, floor plan credits have outpaced the cost, especially as vehicles have quickly sold during the supply shortages. Floor planning as a revenue item goes back to at least 2009. The National Automobile Dealers Association previously disclosed. NADA reported that the average dealership made $2,355 in floor planning in 2010. The number then climbed through 2015 when it peaked at $109,497 and stayed positive the next couple of years. In 2018, as rates rose, it flipped to an average per store cost of $55,164, the association reported the next year. It remained a cost in 2019, this time $82,979. Then in 2020, as rates were slashed during the coronavirus pandemic, floor planning flipped back to a profit item, this time an average of $108,395. This was the last full year NAD reported that data. It stopped sharing its average dealer financial profile after October 2021. But though that visibility has gone away, the six major publicly traded dealership groups provide a glimpse of recent shifts. Interesting that NADA would stop publishing oh, the data. Oh, yeah. Transparency is nothing in the car business. Brian Finkelmeyer, Senior Director of New Vehicle Solutions at Cox Automotive, told Automotive News, for most automakers, floor plan credits traditionally have equaled 1.5% of a new vehicle's invoice price. The assistance was designed to help dealers cover the interest expense of keeping the vehicle in stock for about 90 days. 
But with historically low inventories in 2020, 2021, 2022, and with cars arriving at dealerships already promised to customers, they weren't sitting on lots for anywhere near 90 days, making floor planning a profit stream, Finkelmeyer said. Brands like Toyota, brands like Honda, the ones that are still running at very low day supply, Kia might even be in there a little bit as well. Those dealers are still going to have a profit driver from their floor plan credit because their inventory is turning so quickly. As long as they can turn the car faster than 90 days, it's a profit center. Matthew DeSantis, an analyst for dealer advisory firm Hague Partners in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, told Automotive News that quick inventory turn is increasing in importance for dealers. Pay attention to that, everyone. Faster turns means more money in the pocket of the dealer. Ford Motor Company changed the amount of floor plan credits dealers receive by switching to a model that covers costs for up to 75 days based on actual days in inventory. Take note that this will affect the floor plan assistance dealers receive from Ford depending on how long the vehicle is on the lot. Historically, dealers received a floor plan credit no matter how long a vehicle sat on the lot. It remains to be seen if other automakers will change their model like Ford has. Larry Morgan, chairman of Morgan Auto Group in Tampa, Florida, told Automotive News he doubts automakers will help offset rising interest rates any further than current levels, but his group, the eighth largest dealership group in the country, plans to be proactive. To prepare for lower floor plan profit, Morgan said he's trying something new to speed his group's inventory turn this year. He said, We told our stores if they can't sell the inventory they have in stock in a reasonable amount of time, we're going to transfer it to other stores with the brand. Heaven forbid that they should drop the prices. Yeah. The number one action dealers can take in the face of lower floor plan profits is to make sure they are appropriately managing excess cash. Dealers have to be very diligent with the factory because as inventory continues to increase and sales don't materialize, it's going to be a significant cost. Yep. These last few years were fun and profitable for dealers, but literally everyone close to the industry knew that it wouldn't last. I hope you made it this far, folks, because the wrap up on this is simple. When the source of money starts drying up for dealers, you know the overall car market is in huge trouble. Aren't you guys just blown away by how good our content is? The bottom line is, every time you click on one of our videos right now on the Homework Guy channel, it's like getting a pocket full of free money. That's right. If you'd like to show some gratitude to us for our quality car market updates and accurate car buying advice videos like this one, the links for making a tip are appearing on the screen and they'll be easy to find in the description box down below. PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. Our tip system was suggested to us by our audience. Generous people asked for a way to donate to support our mission. Voluntary tips are awesome because they provide a good indicator to tell us how much you guys appreciate what we do. And apparently, most of you love us a lot, just as we love you. And we have been making a big effort to convert your generosity into more free services for our viewers. If a tip isn't an option for you, that's no problem at all. Just show us your thanks by subscribing and recommending our videos to your friends and family. I also want to remind our viewers about our very generous offer for free car buying assistance. Any viewer who has contacted us would tell you, you don't have to blow your hard-earned cash on a paid car club membership. Just send us a text to 701-441-3399 with your name and we'll be in touch with you. If you're out shopping in the car market right now, make sure you see Kevin's playlist, THG's Savvy Car Buyers Homework Cram Session. Also, if you're on Facebook, drop by and give us a like and a follow. And don't forget to visit our website too, thehomeworkguy.com. It's loaded with so many free resources for car buyers, it's mind-blowing. And let us know what you think about our new website photo. That's right. One last thing I want to mention. After we published THG's Amazing Elizabeth versus a car dealer finance officer, our viewer Lillian texted us to say, I had to pull out the FTC regs and that was the end of the story. <laughs> Extra fees and some add-ons removed, saving 3869 bucks. you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Use the FTC regs, folks. It definitely works. And I spoke directly to Lillian and she has agreed to send me a video explaining her car deal. And what's equally impressive is that she turned down the offer for help from her husband and others because she believed she was well-versed <laughs> on our content and went there and did as good a job as Elizabeth herself could yeah, have done. Yeah, you go, girl. Our content and what we teach is kryptonite to a car dealer, folks. Go savage Liz at the car dealer <laughs> and save thousands just like Lillian. Right now, our following of subscribers is growing faster than any other creator in our lane on YouTube. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We thank you for subscribing and welcome you to our family. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Once again, we're batting a thousand on earning your trust. See you next time. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.